What's going on guys? Welcome back. Madden 17 CFM Preview. Do me a favor, take a moment, like button, subscribe button, criticism in the comment section, Twitter. Shutdown Safety is my username. Did the Cardinals yesterday want to keep it in the NFC West, move on to the Los Angeles Rams. Now the Rams went 7-9 and nine last year, and obviously they're looking for a fresh start in an old home. Uh, they give up two second round picks, a third round, and then the first and thirds from 2017 to make sure they got Jared Goff this year. And while these aren't, you know, as big as star power additions, they also did pick up Quinton Copels, uh, Dominic Easley, and Cody Sensiball. Gone, though, is your key Madden superstar he ever played with the Rams or the Titans for that matter. Jared Cook is out the door, uh, a fast tight end. Uh, Chris Long, James Laurinaitis, Janoris Jenkins, Nick Fairley, also a few of the players that got the boot. Now, the good thing about the Rams is on the ground, you've got Todd Gurley. This guy's one of the best prospects in the NFL, a major contributor last year, even less than 100% coming off his ACL, playing only in 13 games. He still managed 10 touchdowns, over 1,000 yards. If nothing else, he is going to be your workhorse. Now, in the air, there's a lot of question marks. You've got Tavon Austin, who I assume would be your starting option. You've got underachievers and Kenny Britt and Brian Quick, who's coming off a massive 10-catch season. Those are both giant question marks. Uh, worse yet, Farrell Cooper had an awful combine. And, and while Madden players, you know, we really may not worry about this so much in real life, Tyler Higbee is facing a suspension for assault, so you may have a question mark there as well. Your offensive line doesn't get much better. You've got Greg Robinson and an absolute disappointment in Roger Saffold, who's only been able to suit up five times last season. Uh, your best bet may be the second-year man, Rob Haverstein. He's, I don't want to say your best bet. He's probably your most dependable bet. Uh, the issue ultimately being, though, in CFM, we may not have injuries on the line, so you may not have to worry so much about the liabilities these guys pose there. Now, defensively, you just lost one of your best players, Janoris Jenkins. He was an absolute stud. Uh, his departure is going to leave EJ Gaines stepping up. But again, in real life, he's dealing with a Liz Frank injury, which could hinder him. I don't know how that's going to play into Madden, but it is something you probably should concern yourself with. Tremaine Johnson has, in my opinion, outplayed all the expectations. Um, but really, with so many additions, excuse me, so many subtractions to the defense, it's really hard to know where any of these people are because you're basing them off a defense that really is different in many ways than last season. Uh, you are going to have the benefit, though, of a decent line. You've got all-pro Robert Quinn, the aforementioned Copels coming over. Uh, not a Madden concern, and I hate to continue to bring this up, but Dominic Easley is coming over from the Patriots. He was cut kind of for personal reasons. You're not going to have to deal with that. So you've got a pretty decent line. They can play in front of a mix-max group of linebackers, including a converted safety in Mark Barron, uh, Akeem Akers, and if you can make something out of, out of Alec Ogletree, you'll have done better than the actual Rams have in real life. Now, the Rams are going to be one of the toughest cards to deal with in Madden 17. Uh, I think you're set at the quarterback and halfback positions, but building a group is going to be key. And since you're stuck with the real-life front office selling out for golf, you're not going to really have any viable draft picks for the next year. So I would look to address the wide receiver position first. You're going to need to get someone young and build them. You just really need a base. Um, ultimately, you're going to try to fill the role that Stedman Bailey more than likely would have had before his shooting in the offseason. I would sign or go look for a player, get them to a long-term deal, and kind of embrace the grind with Gurley until you can get out to 2018. Now, the other positions I would worry about in terms of depth would be defensive backs and linebackers. Now, thankfully, Madden's trade logic can be a little bit off. And obviously, we talked earlier, Greg Robinson is kind of shaping up to be a bust. You may still be able to get some value for him. Even if it's a run-of-the-mill linebacker or defensive back, it would probably be a good idea to, again, go out, get those players, sign long-term deals right away, and start trying to build up through XP to get players in positions where if they can't start for you, at least if you're going to draft someone, you've got a decent backup for them. So that's how I would approach the Rams. Appreciate you guys checking out this video. I'll be back in the week with more commentary.